Coming to work in the White House, there's a moment of kind of wonder every time you walk through the gate. It is really a privilege and it is really a serious responsibility. Hi, I'm Monica Alba, NBC News White House correspondent, and this is NBCU Academy. The White House beat involves so many different moving parts, but number one is obviously covering whatever the President of the United States is doing on any given day. And that can really range from domestic trips to foreign travel, new policy announcements, certainly crises that are emerging in the country and around the world. And we are really just doing our best to try to learn more about what is happening out front in public and then sometimes even more importantly what's happening behind the scenes to try to help people understand why what's happening is actually happening. The booth is a wonderful workspace because you get to be inside the White House. It is a pretty small and confined space. It is a little bit like a glamorous version of a walk-in closet that you spend most of your day in, shoulder to shoulder with your colleagues. We are next door to all of our competitors who really, when you end up spending so much time with them, do become really close allies and friends. We are a big team, luckily. We have multiple correspondents and multiple producers who are always working together. The team from the morning gives everything to the team from the afternoon, and then that really just continues throughout the day into the night and then the next day. If you're gonna be going to the White House, you wanna make sure that you know what's going on that day. You wanna be in the know on the important news so that you can be aware of anything that might really happen that day, which could be pretty significant. White House, it's Monica. Today is an example of a day at the White House where you're not really seeing the president on camera out front, yeah. but there's a lot of stuff that is happening still. You really are always thinking in the short term, in the immediate, what's happening in this moment, and then there are longer term stories. And we're trying to keep all of that going on all of these different tracks. The press briefing will begin in two minutes. Thank you. I'm in touch with my colleagues constantly, not just from the White House team, but time. on different sure. beats who are trying so to get this. information about other stories that intersect with the White House and the Biden administration. I'm constantly throughout the day talking to sources and that doesn't just mean people who are inside the White House or inside the administration. I talk to people outside all the time. So I'm trying to keep my eyes and ears on everything that's really happening, on stories that are just emerging right now that we need to make sure that we're asking the White House about. On top of all of that, we're trying to prepare for the White House briefing. All right, everybody, good afternoon. On any given day in the briefing, I want to make sure that I'm bringing fresh new questions that could really result in new answers. We shouldn't expect any imminent developments on that front, so is that your way of just lowering expectations for any outcome? No, that's just my way of being honest with you about where we are in the process. We try to always ask about issues that people are talking about that's not just related to the political universe either. Have a great Friday, guys. If there's a big headline out of a briefing, our great team of producers will take the news, send it to everybody across the different platforms. Oh my gosh. That was a long one. You are here to document history in real time. And you don't always know that something really significant is happening in the moment because of the way that it's developing or because it's happening so quickly. And then you look back and realize, wow, I have been there. It is really a serious responsibility to be able to do this job. I'm very lucky to be able to do it. But it is certainly one that comes with really high stakes and real consequences. You know, we're talking about people's lives and the way that they approach making decisions that will affect their lives. Accuracy is the most important thing here. It doesn't really matter that you're doing it first or that you're breaking it big. You have to have the news judgment and ability to be sure that you are being accurate and responsible. I think you have to have a kind of insatiable curiosity about why the world works the way it does, why government functions the way that it does to kind of want to do this job. So you have to really have an interest in history and why things have unfolded the way they have and led us to this particular moment to try to get even a little bit of a sense of what may be ahead, even though we're really not in the prediction business here. So the White House beat really doesn't compare to anything else. What happens here, the decisions that are made, the decisions that aren't made, why or why not, really does have massive impact in the country and sometimes even globally in the world.